Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are reaching the end of this declarative programming course. Hope you understand about all the concepts that I have explained in this course. Now the only thing remaining is how to show if any problem occurs or if any error occurs. How to show the error message. Up to now what we are doing. So when we click on this update post, it is getting successfully updated successfully. And we are able to show the message update successfully. After 5 seconds, we are so removing that success message. Now we found one problem here, right? So what is the problem? So when I click on this update post, let me close this one. And if I click on this update post again, you'll be able to see a post update successfully. Immediately it will go away, right? Without five seconds, it will go away. Again, I will do the update post. If you try to see, now it will, you will be able to understand. See, immediately it went away. Now again, I will try to try. Now immediately it is going away. So it is not waiting for five seconds to appear. See what is happening here. Let's try to see. I will show you what is happening. Now we are in the app component.ts, right? So what is this app component.ts is doing? The success message. So here it is taking the success message. It is always listening the success message action from the notification service, right? Now when this success message action emits a data, it will capture the data in the tab and it will try to clear the messages. Now let's say that when we click on this update message, so now when I click on this update post, now we are sending a message that post updated successfully message here. Now it will update successfully. Okay, it will show the message and it is trying to, after 5 seconds, it is, it is trying to clear all messages. Clear all messages, in turn it is firing again, if you try to see here, clear all messages. So here it is, in turn again it is firing the message subject with an empty value. It is trying to send the message subject with an empty value. Now again here if you try to see, now again this success message action will be invoked, it will be fired. And again the tap message, now this time the message value will be empty. Again it will try to emit, clear all message, again it will try to emit the empty value, it will try to fire the empty value, again it will. So this will be going on looping like that. So for that reason we are able, we are not able to see the updated successfully on the second time, third time, fourth time like that. So for that reason what we have to do, so we can do what we can do is, so here you can write if message, so if message is there. Then only we need to clear the message, right? When or then only we can clear the message. If message is not there, means if message is uh, not there, means it is already cleared. There is no need to clear the message. The same scenario, if you want, means you can write it here also. If message, now this one also we can keep it here. That's it. So now if message is there, then only you try to clear the messages. So now let's try to save it. So whether it is saved or not, yeah, fine. Everything is saved. Now whether it is run, yeah, it compiled successfully. Now let's try to see the output. Now I am clicking on the update post. So I clicked on the update post. So post updated successfully, done. It went away after 5 seconds. Again I am clicking on the update post. So when, it, when I click on this update post, now again it will wait for 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, something like 5 seconds, okay. I am counting little bit faster. So again I am clicking on the update post. So this time also when we see previously it has been uh, went away it has went away very quickly right but here now if you try to see so on consecutive update post also it is trying it is staying for 5 seconds. So that means we have successfully retrieved uh, we have successfully solved uh, the problem. So fine <coughs> the, uh, the problem the problem has been uh, went away. Now the situation what we need to do is when I click on the update post if any problem occurs here okay if any problem occurs then we need to show the error message and we should not navigate this one. Now what, what we can we do here? Let's try to see. So what can we do here? Let's let's go to this one. Post form dot, uh, sorry, declarative post dot service dot ts. And here we already ha handling the errors, right? Catch error, this dot handle error. So we can use this one. So where we can use, so any error occurs, we can use this one catch error, okay? And also in the modify post, these all things are not required in the save post. So add server. So we are using like this, right? You can use here catch error. Okay. And also here also you can use this when this is updated. So you can use the catch error. Okay. And uh, you can use this catch error here also. So if you want uh, now, these all uh, add to post service. If you want to use your, here also, you can use it. 
or otherwise not not a problem why because if it uh, sends this observable whatever the error observe, error or anything so it will be catch it will be caught by that catch error now we have added this catch error now what we need to do let's go to this postform.component.ts in this postform.component.ts what we need to do here here so when the post when we are getting the post so here we can use something like catch error okay so catch error we can also use this catch error and when this catch error we got when we get the error so we can use this dot notification okay so we will be having one notification service that notification service dot set error message of error we can pass this error okay and this catch error always returns an observable so as we don't have any observable we we have in rxjs empty observable so it will send an empty observable that's it i hope this one is completed so catch error this one will take care of this error messages and why this error is still is coming i don't think so the error has to come error and empty okay so i think this one is not imported i think at the top let's try to import it rxjs empty is it imported i don't know why it is not importing in my system so let's try to import with us manually rxjs okay <clears throat> empty empty right yeah that's it so we have imported this rxjs empty now hope this one works without any problem mm, it is uh, still executing so let it execute hey why still it is telling uh, is it not available in uh, rxjs or what so where it could be available empty so now here yeah it's fine right okay 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 it is already there at the top okay fine so this empty is there already there at the top then why it is still showing me error i don't know uh, sometimes see this type of things will happen i don't know why it will happen yeah everything is correct so it, it is also executed successfully i think my system has become very slow I, it's time for me to change my system i think okay so now if i click on this update post so we are able to get it successfully now we will try to inject the error scenario now let's go to this uh, what you can say so declare to post the service i am giving some um, changing the url to some other bad url okay which is not available now let's try to see what will happen so let it refresh the page is it refreshing or not oh yeah it is refreshing now now if i click on this update post yeah we are able to see right unknown error record please try again so why it is happening so we got the api call rejected now where we are displaying that message so we have written a common method something like handle error and here we have written so generic message something like unknown error record please try again if you want means you can depending on this error type what is the error type if you are getting 500 error or anything means so 500 error or anything means you can modify the error message according to that one so that is out of the box so we can be depending on the status message error dot status or error we, we can use the type of uh, error message we can change the error message so this is all about the now let's try go back to uh, let's uh, we will keep this one as uh, normal url yeah so this is all about the <coughs> declarative post so we have successfully did the update post and we did this error message showing also and also we did the success message also so we have did it at globally if you want miss you can make it as lo lo locally also that means in the component level also you can make it so that you can show it in the component level that is nothing but postform.component.ts you can use that notification message so hope you understood about this one so we have in this video we have say, we have fixed the issue of this success message displaying uh, uh, so removing very fastly so that one also we have fixed it and also the we, we are also showing the error messages also so if any problem occurs in the person while submitting the post form so we are also showing that error message also so hope you understood about the, about this so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you